For Simon Calder. Simon, another tourist blunder on the hunt for the ultimate selfie. Is this what it's come to? Well, unfortunately, that is what we are, appear to be reaching at the moment. Exactly as you say, there's so many occasions of people simply are behaving extremely badly in very important cultural sites. And as a result of that, you are seeing these priceless uh, pieces of heritage which are simply being ruined and it's all in the interests of getting a good snap to put on social media. Absolutely shocking. I'm glad to hear that in this case uh, there was a significant fine but we've seen many many other occasions in which people have simply damaged stuff and then walked away. It's a really serious issue. There needs to be public information about this but there also needs to be heavy fines against it so that people are properly penalised for damaging something which is uh, humanity's heritage. Forgive me for this, but is this an epidemic of the young or are we all in fact a little bit guilty now of this kind of souvenir hunting? Well, yes. Um, so the idea of um, going around and, and taking um, uh, valuable things from various historic places, unfortunately, has been going on for rather too long. It's a kind of uh, a, a practice which has been going on even really since before uh, tourism began properly. But the idea that you leave your mark on these places and you get a good selfie um, means that we have seen cases such as the Colosseum in Rome, where people have been causing serious damage. It's exacerbated because there are so many of us travelling. Anybody who's been lucky enough to go to Rome this summer will know just how uh, highly pressurised everything is. And I think there's also a certain sense that we have been so tied up during the COVID pandemic, we're now making up for lost time. But the result is, yes, sheer vandalism on the streets at a time when we should be celebrating humanity's heritage. What's the worst case you've come across? Well, in terms of um, bad behaviour, I am going to go back to the uh, idea that so much of, the, uh, of this has been going on for so long. There are wonderful properties in, in the UK. Stonehenge, for example, uh, this Bronze Age, Iron Age, very, very, uh, you know, thousands of years old. This monument has been uh, severely damaged over the centuries, which is why tourists are now kept well away. But on top of that, all the great sites around the Mediterranean, whether they are in Turkey, whether they are in um, Greece, in the, the, the Middle East, in, in Libya, in Egypt, in Algeria, all of those are just open and the only reason they survive as they do is because people are respectful towards them. As soon as you lose respect, you start losing the essence of humanity and that's a really worrying development. Dearie me. Simon Calder, as ever, thank you.